Should you be using Brass Dome on your Righteous Fire build, or is it a massive bait? Now, it's often hard to pick a chess piece, especially since there's so many good options these days. Are you going to use a Brass Dome? A Rare? Maybe you're going to consider that nifty new Fourth Vow. And what about the old Trusty? Something maybe like Lightning Coil, or if you're getting really fancy, Crasian's Carpus. Whenever I put a build together, I look at what other people do, and then try to do the opposite. I put on the things that people aren't to see if they're making the right decision or if there's another option. This leads to a lot of pain and suffering, a lot of deaths, and occasionally some really cool niche strats. But that isn't exactly what I did when playing RF Jug. I started with a rare, then I upgraded to Brass Dome because I felt like I needed the max res. Now more recently, I upgraded to a plus two max shield and decided, all right, if I'm going to test stuff, I should probably try a few different options and run at least one map with each. So I grabbed a chess piece that was admittedly pretty cheap and just a 10 chaos item to test out. That went okay. I definitely noticed the lack of crit protection, died immediately after clicking an auto crit expedition on a crit map. That was probably on me, but ultimately it went to prove that my gut assumption was right. Crit protection on Brass Dome is amazing. That said, a rare also offers some things Brass Dome can't. First of which is a lot more life. Second of all, if I hadn't just grabbed the first discount 10 chaos chess piece, I could have gotten plus two max res, which would put it defensively very, very close to Brass Dome, especially if I had something like a Fizz Taken as prefix and an armor prefix. And then maybe if I'm really lucky, I could have either chaos res as a suffix or use essence of loathing for reduced mana reservation, aka mana reservation efficiency. Out of all the chest options, a rare is by far the most flexible, even if it doesn't offer the most raw power, and you will have to watch out for crits, a theme that you'll be seeing quite a lot of. Now next up, I POB'd Brass Dome in comparison to Crasian's Carpus, Lightning Coil, and Doppelganger just for fun. I mean, sure, it's probably a terrible idea to not use an armor chest on the armor ascendancy, but Doppelganger's guise is really good, so how did it all turn out? If I'm taking one big fizz hit occasionally, Crasian's is amazing. Unfortunately, it's really bad at defending against Elemental and Chaos, so this isn't a very well-balanced option. Similarly, Lightning Coil is really good against Fizz, but doesn't offer anything against Ellie or Chaos, so it's not a great choice either. And what about Doppelganger, the chest that wasn't supposed to be that good? It performed surprisingly well, actually. Due to having no armor, my defenses were certainly a little lower than I would have been comfortable with, but it gave a massive amount of recovery and would probably feel pretty decent to play with given the reliability of taking 40% less Fizz and Chaos damage. At that point, you don't really need to apply your armor to Chaos and can instead go with Fizz taken as, thus splitting up the damage you take even more. If you happen to pick one up that has 50% reduced extra damage taken from crits, I could absolutely see it being a good option. And I'm also considering it for my next build, though if you want to know more about what I'm playing next, be sure to get subscribed so you don't miss that video. Maybe leave a like while you're down there. Which leaves the comparison that I mentioned at the beginning, the fourth vow versus Brass Dome, and which you should be using. Well, first off, if you're on a budget, the fourth vow isn't terrible. It's a lot cheaper than a Brass Dome, which last I checked was about seven divines for a good six link. But on the other hand, it does very little to mitigate your fizz damage taken. Brass Dome offers a massive amount of armor, and fourth vow offers a very small amount of armor. It's extremely good against both elemental and chaos damage taken. In fact, against chaos damage taken, it's far better than Brass Dome. And you can use things like the 10% of Fizz taken as chaos mastery in combination with, say, Taste of Hate to lessen the impact of Fizz damage. But I was still worried about Fizz damage, so I decided to buy one and try it out. Spend the rather sizable amount of money for a double corrupted one so you don't have to. And I have to say, on paper, it looked really good. I would even say it looked better than the Brass Dome. But in practice, it felt bad. I can't really explain it because it wasn't like I was squishy all of the time. I wasn't squishy at all, until I was. And that wasn't something I was used to having played with Brass Dome for so long. Now, when I wasn't in serious danger, or when I was up against purely elemental or chaos damage, it did feel amazing. So much so that I'm going to keep it around and swap into it when I fight bosses and don't have to worry as much about random fizz damage. I think it feeling bad was purely a side effect of the way I'm mapping, 
doing extremely dangerous rippy content where often enemies have a lot of fizz and can also auto crit. Especially in the case of Expedition, it's just not the best fit there. Instead, I want something really big and beefy with massive amounts of armor. So are any of these chests a bait? Uh, yes, I would say that Crasian's Carpus is absolutely a bait. It's not up all the time, the immune to bleeding is nice, but not really irreplaceable, and it leaves you completely vulnerable to Elian Chaos. That said, are the rest a bait? Surprisingly, no. They're all good options, and you should pick it based on your own needs. For example, if you're doing uber bossing that has really high amounts of elemental and chaos damage, remember Ellie is being split 50-50 due to Divine Flesh, then I'd absolutely use Fourth Vow. If you're mapping and want to run any crit map, click any crit mod and not have to worry, stick to Brass Dome. If your life pool feels just a little bit too low, then maybe swap to a rare. And if you're lacking on regen or recovery, surprisingly, Doppelganger's Guys wasn't a terrible option. Just remember to pick things that synergize well with what you're doing. So on Brass Dome, you want 10% of armor is applied to chaos damage. On Fourth Vow, you want Fizz is taken as chaos. Whereas on Lightning Coil, you might want the armor is applied again, and then going back to the Doppelganger's Guys, then you probably want to go back to the Fizz taken as. For rare, it gets much more complicated and kind of depends on the rest of your gear, so I'll leave that one to you. Though, as a quick note, if you aren't crit immune, do consider taking Sanctum of Thought for 30% reduced extra damage taken from crit strikes. And of course, a lot of what I said doesn't apply if you just choose to avoid running crit maps in the first place. Not that that's necessarily true because enemies have base crit, etc, etc, but base crit isn't that deadly, it's usually when you give enemies auto crit plus crit damage that those crits get really scary, or if you like standing in uber shaper slams for fun, in which case, um, please seek professional help. But with that said, I just wanted to make this video because very often I see builds described in terms of absolutes, when in reality it depends. What works for me in my gear might not be right for you and yours. And that's why I try to provide as much information and as many options, including alternatives, when talking about the builds that I play. But that said, I'm curious. What are some cool alternatives to popular mainstream items that you've come up with in your builds? Be sure to leave those down in the comments below. And of course, before I go, a special thanks to my patrons and channel members for the continued support. I often spend a lot of divines testing things, but these videos take time as well, and in a lot of cases, time is money. So direct support goes a long way to helping me pay my bills. If you're looking for something else to watch, maybe check out a video in which I crafted all of my RF gear, or if you want to know my setup, I'll also have a video on that up in the card and down in the description. Plus, you can always go with a recommendation that's on screen right now. With that said, thanks for watching, I hope you learned something, and I hope to see you again sometime soon.